Hi everyone, it's Michael Citron. This is Ask Michael Monday, it's our episode 17. Um, we wanted to put together a little bit more information and a slideshow presentation. Um, obviously, uh, we last week we highlighted the 17 victims that were lost in our Stoneman Douglas shooting and we're going to put a little information, positive, you know, the city coming together, amazing events, um, love and support, lots of things going on, all great things to move forward, um, you know, showing that the city has really come together. So we are Parkland, we're Parkland strong, um, we're MSD strong, and never again. So obviously we attended the vigil on Friday. Uh, it was an amazing outpour of support and love from our city. We actually, we live in Parkland Isles, and we walked across the street um, and we really saw the, the city come together. I, I never felt so connected to a city as I did on Friday. I saw the commissioners and the, the you know, the, the city, you know, our neighbors, you know, talking to us and hugging and kissing and supporting and saw the students and saw just so much going on that, that I, I was amazed at the love and support. You know, you know, 17 lives were lost that day. And I believe that, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at a, a, at a school that, you know, I didn't go to school there. A lot of people didn't go to school there, but living in the city and, and, and certainly after last week, you know, over a week ago, we, we certainly are Stoneman Douglas. You know, I feel like I'm a connected more to the city, but also connected to the school. So I feel like it's a part of me. And um, I, I really felt that on the vigil. And, and then they had where they put the, the 17 memorials, they actually moved it from the, from the, uh, from the amphitheater um, to the actual, school location and you know we've seen thousands and thousands of people I, I i live in parkland islands and we walk around the neighborhood and i saw people coming from from different you know countries to to show their love and support of the of this city and you know it's just an amazing outpour um, from from our local community but nationally and internationally it, it's it's really become a movement um, to see that this unity of our of our city and and, and certainly our country um, so we we definitely um, we're supporting this this run for for Scott B. Eagle on February 18th. The community, including first responders, um, ran in support of the cross country coach and teacher Scott B. Beagle. Um, it just was amazing to see it at our at our, at our park. Um, you know, I, I, I went over. I, I just was so surprised to see just how that came together and the love and support. And just one of the major reasons that uh, that this unity has taken place. So we, we've seen the, 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 the events that have happened and you know, I'm amazed at the student walkouts. I mean, there, there, there wants to be change. Um, I think you know, a lot of kids are, you know, feel that they're connected to, to Stoneman Douglas. So from across the country, I think the world, you've seen you know, walkouts. We, we're here, right here on Wiles Road and, and we saw Monarch High School walk out. We saw Westglades you know, walk 11 miles to, to, the, uh, the, to the school site. So these things of outcry and for, for love and support, I, I, I've been on this earth for almost 40 years. I've never seen something like this. Um, and I'm really proud of the students for what they're doing. And there are the futures, uh, you know, voices of our, of our country and our world. And I, I was impressed. I was very impressed with, with, the, with the love and support from the, from the teachers, you know, faculty, um, the local community, but, but certainly the students. I mean, their voices, listen to them. They're so intelligent. They speak so eloquently. And, and I'm really proud to, to be a part of it. And that's why I think we're connected to Stoneman Douglas. I feel like those kids, those families are a part of my own. And I feel proud. And it makes me feel to be a part of such a special city as what Parkland is. Right now and always was. This just makes it even, even closer and better that we've come together as one through this tragedy. So on Wednesday, February 21st, we saw students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas uh, travel to the state capitol um, to make a difference, to really get their voices heard. And we, again, we saw lots of uh, you know, national, international press covering these uh, of the students going there, as well as you know, their you know, meeting with the president, you know, showing you know, the, you know, what their, you know, they're coming forward with and wanting their voices heard. And I just was, was very happy to call myself a Parklander through all of this. And just, just seeing these students grow up pretty fast. You know, that's one thing. These are, these are young kids still, young adults. But I, I really think that they're, 
you know, amazing how they how they've come together and, and, and put together their presentations and their interviews. And it was really a great thing to watch. And I just felt proud, like a parent, like a, like these kids were, you know, my brother, you know, my family, you know, they, you know, these were not just strangers or just kids you saw in the park or when you drove into Starbucks and passed by them. I felt closer than I've ever felt to our city through watching these young minds, as well as our faculty, our amazing um, faculty of Stoneman Douglas and our commission. So I've already seen change. You know, This is just informational facts that I've seen, um, that the plan of action is already underway um, to make it virtually impossible for anyone who has a mental issue to buy a gun. You know, $450 million proposed to keep Florida schools safer and $50 million proposal to expand mental health care incentives in the state. So we're already seeing action. And I really believe it's from the, from the, from the students, but certainly our city coming together and, and wanting to show that we need change. We need to make our school safer. And I think we are all, you know, whatever side of the political, you know, you know side you are, I think we all can agree that, that the schools need to be safer. And they need to be safer immediately. So I think these laws, hopefully they'll be put into place immediately and it will make our school safer so, so when the kids do go back to school on Wednesday, they will feel safer, the parents will see, feel safer, and the city and the nation will feel safer. So the student orientation was yesterday. I actually you know, drove by, saw a lot of this going on. Um, you know, kids were able to come with their parents and friends and they kind of opened the school up again to kind of show how we're going to, you know, try to open up the schools this, this Wednesday. And, and I, and I, you know, I, I saw, you know, a lot of students certainly were wanting to go back. They want to be with their classmates. They want to hug their, their friends, their, their, you know, their teachers, their faculty members, you know, coaches. So I think it's great. I think it's going to be certainly a little challenging to, to get the, you know, everybody back to the you know daily grind of schoolwork, but but certainly it's a first step, and I'm happy to be a part of it. I saw a, a great message from the Stoneman Doug, Douglas principal saying he's there to hug every kid that needs hug. I think everybody in this in this city, you know, we've gone out to all the businesses that are you know um, offering um, to to you know contribute you know some of their proceeds from a certain night of uh, food. Um, to, to be contributing to these funds. So, you know, it's a great support, but I've seen so many shirts and so many wristbands and hats and, and you know, so much outpour that it's just amazing to be a part of. So I wanted to also highlight, I thought, you know, last, last, last Michael Monday, we talked about the, four, the 17 lives. There were 14 also injured, three of which were pretty severe, and there's three still in in the hospitals right now, and I don't want their voices to go unheard, and I still want to pray and support their their speedy recovery. Um, so, what we wanted to do is highlight their uh, those, those students as well. So, Ben Wickender, he's a senior at Stoneman Douglas who was shot multiple times. He reportedly, um, you know, reportedly doing well after two surgeries following the shooting. So, again, these are serious injuries, and you know, and he's going to make it and. You know, I'm just happy to, you know, just learn a little bit more about these kids, these amazing heroes. Maddie Wilford, 18, she's a junior at Stoneman Douglas, who also played on the Stoneman Douglas basketball team. She's recovering from multiple surgeries and, re and is recuperating at Broward Health North Medical Center in Deerfield Beach. We've seen a little bit of press that, that has shown the, the, the three of these students, but I, I really wanted to learn a little bit more about them just so I could also show my love and support for them because they're not able to attend these, all these events and all this outcry and, you know, for support. So I really wanted to, to learn a little bit more and, and have their names um, on my minds as well as, as, as yours, of course. Then Anthony Borges, 15 years old, he was shot five times while blocking um, his, his classroom door and preventing the shooter from entering this classroom. He plays on the school soccer team as well, and doctors say m more surgeries will be needed, but he is recovering. And I, I've seen some outpour of, uh, you know, some press on, on Anthony, but just a, an amazing hero. He's one of those heroes that, that, we, uh, that we, keep, we haven't really heard a lot about. Some, but I, I really can't wait till when he fully recovers and he can, you know, come and walk back to the school and, and give his interviews and, and be proud, you know, Parkland proud. So these are just three of the, you know, 14 or more that, you know, sustained injuries that uh, hopefully won't be life-threatening and will be able to recover. Again, I mean, I have my, my wrist, my band, 
Um, so you certainly see a lot of you know students and um, members of our community as well as other communities with their love and support for the MSD Strong T-shirts, um, the heartstrings they're calling. You know you can go to these websites. LoveMSD.com is the official uh, website to purchase the hats and the shirts. So certainly purchase them. They're going to a great cause. Um, they're, re they're really making an impact already. And I think it's great to show the city um, that, um, that we're here for them and that we're, we're not going to forget this day ever. Lots of money's been raised. I, I wanted to look at that when, when they first put the GoFundMe pages for all of the, the 17 plus others that were injured and, and uh, the actual um, Soman Douglas GoFundMe page. Through the, your love and support, over $2 million has already been raised on the Stoneman Douglas GoFundMe page for the victims' families, and over $500,000 has been raised for the students' individual GoFundMe pages. So go out and support the kids. Go out and support the faculty. You know, pe people are, are still in need of, of assistance, and, and all this money counts, and it will help them. So I, I really want people to, to keep supporting our city. There's going to be more events. There's more, you know, restaurants opening up, you know, to, you know, the certain days that are giving you know, their proceeds to that day. So just, just take a look at it. Make sure you support the local businesses. We're all here to support um, the movement. You know, and I really want to, you know, go back to the message of be positive, be passionate, be proud to be an eagle. And this is what I said. I, I'm proud now. I'm proud to be an eagle. I believe I am an eagle. And I want to, you know, reach out right now to the, to the parents of their, you know, of students that are going back on Wednesday. We're here for you. We're, we're, we're going back with you. And I really feel if you look at what these kids have done, be proud, you know, and, I, and I, I, I support everything about safety in the schools and I know the schools are doing everything they can to make your kids have the safest uh, experience going back to school. But we're there for them. You know, we are here with you when those kids go back. That would be on everybody's mind on Wednesday. I know it's a half day. I know Thursday and Friday will be a half day. And I know that you can count on the city, that count on the, your neighbors and friends that will be here to welcome your kids back to school, to be positive, to be passionate, and be proud to be an eagle. And next week, we have our next Ask Michael Monday. I want to get back to business too. The kids are going back to school, and I'm getting back. It's been tough for our families to go to many funerals, but in the end, this is all going to be positive to, to help transition to change in our city, our country, you know, in our society right now. So keep supporting, keep hugging, keep kissing your friends, your neighbors. They're going through tough times. We're still going through it. But, you know, I really am, am positive that I feel that the, the city is going to come together. These kids are going to go back to school. They're going to, to make it through this. We're a strong city. We're small, but we're strong. And I'm, again, proud to be Parkland resident. And I, and I look forward to seeing, you know, on Wednesday, the love and support um, and I hope the media stays out of the way. I hope there's no helicopters above this, the schools and the kids can really get back to, to, to seeing their friends and family and their, and their uh, faculty members of the School of Stoneman Douglas. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night and please keep supporting Parkland. Thank you.